purchases have come up empty handed. Well, selling homes may not seem like a dangerous job, but being a real estate agent can come with some serious risks. And now a local martial arts school is helping agents stay safe while they're on the job. WFMZ's Shandy Laurie has that story. A Lower Saucon Township case of a real estate agent found dead in a vacant home back in 1997 is still cold. It scares me. And just last month, Arkansas real estate agent Beverly Carter was killed and her body was found in a shallow grave. When the suspect was asked why he attacked her, he reportedly said because she was just a woman who worked alone, a rich broker. Brad Pat of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Fox and Roach says the industry is different now and he wants to protect his workers. The environment in the real estate community has changed a bit and to be well prepared, to be responsible, to understand best practices for safety is very important in today's world. The owner of Leading Edge Martial Arts says real estate agents are often targets. They put themselves alone with strangers, people they don't know, people they've never met before. So he decided he wanted to do his part to keep them safe. That's why he's hosting free self-defense programs specifically for realtors. They use self-defense techniques like this one to get away from attackers. The owner says never set up a first time meeting alone. Use your cell phone as a weapon and carry pepper spray just to name a few tips. The next self-defense program will be held this Friday at 1230 at Leading Edge Martial Arts in Bethlehem. Chandy Laurie, 69 News. The highest judicial body in the United Methodist Church is considering the case of a Lebanon County pastor who was defrocked for officiating his gay son's wedding. United Methodist Church Reverend Frank Schaefer was suspended after that happened. He was defrocked later for refusing to promise 